guys. Okay, we're going to unbox a Lego City that I have built um, for a while. And this is the mayor, Emmett. He has a disability. He cannot, um, his legs don't work. So, we're going to get on with it, and we're going to start with vehicles. First vehicle is an Arctic um, helicopter quadcopter that I got from a set. Love it. It's amazing. Can use it a lot in many different ways. It can become a rescue helicopter for pretty much snow rescues. So, next vehicle we've got is the tour bus. Sightseeing tour bus with the dude on top. Very luxurious. We probably all seen it somewhere in our lives. And this will be driving around this in pretty soon. Next one we've got is the fire truck. Fire truck has no roof right now. It's okay. I'll fix it later. But um, save city from fires, obviously, as we all know. And has a very, very far seeing ladder. I put it like that because I wanted to, and I have an extra piece, an extra ladder piece. So. Yeah. Next one is the ATV sports truck. And it's um, an up from another set that I got the uh, ATV team. 4x4 four four truck. Then we have the airlift service helicopter that drops in, picks up, helps with airlift service. Got it from a set. The, uh, I don't remember what set it was, but we'll have another tr uh, thing, truck and trailer, that come with this set. Same set. So that's that vehicle. Here's the special transport truck for the airlift service car. It's purposely it's being used for a different kind of trailer for now, and the back end can come off if it wants, but I don't like doing it that often. And that's that. Next. We've got two of the same cars. One is black and white and one is orange and black. They're both electric cars. They can drive by electric, obviously. But one is Emmett's car, modified. And I got it from a friend. Next truck we've got is a plow truck. Because my city is partially in the mountains and I live in Colorado. Um, we have a plow truck with winch wiper lights, which is kind of amazing. So that's that vehicle. Next vehicle we've got is me homemade electric truck for electrical posts. It's generally used for restoring power back at houses, but when I do upgrade my city and make electrical posts it somehow with black, gray, brown pieces, sorry, I will use this one. Next vehicle we've got is the bus. It's from a bus set, obviously. The um, it's an electric hybrid modified to two axes and the um, front is kind of torn apart. Here's the roof for the fire truck. Next set we've got is next car technically we've got is this car. I have hand built this car. It is more like a transport truck for parts than anything else. I used to make a motorhome out of it, but that backfired sort of. But it had a slide out, but 
It didn't really work. It worked, but not, not, not super good. Next one we've got is an ATV for the ATV truck. Now we've got a crane from the same same set as the bus. This set is the um starter city set thing with a museum, um, a hotel, the tour bus, a car, crane, construction crew, and everything, the electric car with a food stand and skate park. I gave my brother the skate park because why not? So that's that. The next truck is a Crooks getaway car, city towing truck. I use this as a tow truck more often than I do a escape truck because I lost the criminal. Well, also the criminal is inside of a SWAT trailer that I hand built. Which we will see in the buildings bucket pretty soon with some vehicles. Next vehicles we've got is two motorbikes. One is a patrol car and one is just a full out like chase you down police bike. Those are those two. Then we've got a ATV for sale kind of car. I just died off the cliff. It's fine. We've got a roof part that is used for the cranes in the museum set. Which we'll see later. This is a really trashy doo-doo. Um... Ambulance. I attempted. I had a very, very strong coffee truck very long time ago. And I destroyed that and made this thing for some reason. It's a homemade cab, homemade chassis, everything. Homemade front fender. Everything is basically homemade in that set. Got windows from the transport car. Next is a. Construction truck for construction crew thing, and that helps with the crane and everything. Really doo doo, but really cool ice cream cart. That also came with the set on the uh, sightseeing tours bus. It has no driver because it's an abandoned thing. It doesn't be. It's not even anymore, so. Next, we've got a really long homemade transport drag truck. Not used as a transport truck, but a drag truck. Homemade, very small, slender, fast. Does that stuff. Next, we've got the um a truck, Just a normal truck from a set that I got. A um a fifth wheeler that I changed into a motorhome that changed into that transport truck. Very long history, but it's now a normal truck that can drive basically anywhere in the city. Next, we've got another car from set. It's very fast. It's a blue sports car from same set as the tour bus. That's that. We have three more cars from that that are out of this bucket that I really like. And that we have this one. Which came from the bucket. It is a it is a normal semi semi with flaps on the back and double axes. Axes, which is normal. That's what came out of the set. It's a set. It's a, it came from a set, but it was modified and demodified and went back to normal and then looked like this. So the next three cars that we have are um they are speed champion cars, but I use them in my city more often than I do anything else. And that are these those are the Porsche 911 SRS from the Porsche 911 SRS and 
a Porsche 911 3.0 turbo, which came with another thing. And those two are those cars. And then the third car, Speed Champions car, is a Ferrari F40 that has special edition like parts that you can add on and add off. And it came in the Ferrari F40 box. So, those are all the cars. And we're only halfway through. We still have bigger sets that need to be shown. Now, if I take a minute or so, I'll be right back to show you the building. Okay, now we are back. And what we are looking at now are sets, like big buildings and everything, the major parts of town, with roads and base plates, and some few vehicles. This is the trailer from the set that came with the uh, helicopter and truck, but I modified it to be a SWAT trailer. And right now it has a firefighter with a gun and a robber. I don't know why a firefighter joined the SWAT, but that happened. I built this. It took a few times to figure out what to do. It has a, not only does it turn from the truck, but it also has a double turn. Help kind of balance it out. Don't worry about my cat. It's fine. Okay, now that next thing we've got is a let's say a um, how do I pronounce? Uh, let's, oh, the roof of a um, hospital that I hand built. And that I will put that together the second I have everything else. There's going to be lots of extra parts like these that I will not talk about all the time. They go to a big modern day Valaya that I have. I will put them on and show you the Valaya when I'm done. This is a homemade um, shop that I based off of Tumor's Corner in Auburn, Alabama. What it, it's a basic shop. It has everything that you think you have in a corner shop. That's that. Next, we've got a jackhammer excavator type of thing used in the Volcano Exploration set. And it has a movable jackhammer, and it has a movable cloth. It can rotate, and it can just drive an attack. That will go down with the vehicles here. We've also got this car that goes with the modern day Malaya, which will stay here. Next thing we've got is the roof of the modern day Valaya. This is the roof slash pool of a hotel that will be built and I will show you in a few moments. I get all the parts. The next set of parts is the second hall with some flames for some reason. I don't know why it goes to a fire truck. But, so that's that. And then the special piece that you find in sets here it is, the big level. I will now attach the roof to the second level for you guys to see what it looks like. The roof does not exactly match up, but it is okay. Because I kind of didn't have the right colors for all of it yet. There it is. Second level. We've got the hand-built electric and water station. This has enough to power the city right now, and it pumps enough water because it uses fresh water from the mountains and pumps it and purifies it to um, drinking water and runs through the city. That's what that is. Pure case of water. 
I've got more parts right here. This is more parts to the modern day Goliath, which will be built pretty soon, I promise you. Here's the first level that goes with it. Here's the base structure. Here's the start of the structure that I will show you. Here is a um, basketball hoop that likes to be added, which I will add to the second part of the Lalaya. And there's the front. There's the inside. Second is a the second level of the hotel, which I will now add the roof to the second part of the hotel. And there we are. It was harder to take the roof off of this than it was to put on. Next thing we've got is a hump, big old massive volcano. You heard it, a volcano. This one shoots out lava balls with crystals inside of them. The exploration team looks at those lava balls and see if they can find gems. This thing came from the same set as the excavator and is going to have its own base plate somewhere. I don't know quite yet. Next part is the trailer to a truck right here that has a crane attached to it that attaches you clear this thing off, and it's also part of the same volcano set. I found my grandmother gave it to me for Christmas. What's next? Oh, here is another attachment to the Valaya. Goes like that. Then you have the garage attachment like that, like so. You have this attachment at the end here. I don't remember which side it is, but I will remember in a moment. And then you can put the car, which has a light um, brick to lights. Uh, you can roll it right in. And that is the first level of the modern day Goliath. Hopefully. Who knows? Get scared. Okay, since we're running a little slow. We're going to get all the volcano stuff out of the way real quick. And that's so. And the, here's the Arctic um, buggy for the uh, quadcopter. That's that. Mayor Emmett. Woo! Woo! I us go take care of your therapy. Sorry, Emmett. Um, what's next? What's next? I forgot. Here we go. The second level of the Valaya. So, I put the stairs on the wrong side because I like to edit this thing around. So, I will be right back. Never mind. All I have to do is that. Here's the stairs. And then actually, I put this thing right, the hoop right here, because there is another attachment that is this that attaches, I attach to the front. So this chimney will go right here, like so. I like it like that because they have a TV right in front of the sink, which is nice. We have tons and tons of people in here, so don't worry about that. I will deal with that. Here we go with the... Oh, we can also attach the roof now, in case you were wondering. Don't worry about the top level. We will get the windows in, I swear. Here, Emmett. 
Here's in the electric thing for the electric cars. The electric charger. There's that. Next, we have got the hot dog stand from the um, same set as the tour bus, the hotel, and everything else that I, you just heard me say. And the windows come out if it's a warm day. And then this comes out like so. And that is that. What that building is. So now we're coming up. On the last level of the hotel, the bottom level, the beginning level, the entry level, whatever you want to call it. And also the porch for the Valaya. So we will put that like so. And there you go. You have your whole out exterior except for a few windows, which I will get there in a moment when I find them. Here is a tree that goes on there too. So we'll put the bottom level together now with the top level. set thing. Here is a lamppost that I like to put right here on the modern day Valaya. No, it's not a part of it. I have had multiple different light posts that I like. I will put those back together and show you what they look like when I'm done. Here is a bench for the roof of the hotel. That goes yeet here. And here's the top. Here's the bottom level, the final level of the hotel. And it just snaps on like so. As soon as I get these posts together, it just snaps on, and you've got yourself a hotel. A big honking hotel. Once the buildings are done being created, I'll put them down on the floor here. Except for the Valaya, obviously. So say goodbye to the hotel until you see me build the city. Here. Next, we've got the museum that is always under construction for some reason. Always under construction because the roofs blow off so easily. Look. Pew! This was kept built in a box, the same box as all these other buildings have been. So it will stay. Here it is. We've got the saber tooth cat that goes with the Arctic quadcopter. It's been in ice for basically forever, and it doesn't look super happy. Put this with the set. Next, we have a homemade built gas station with explosives. That's where the fire for the fire truck is goes and the cars can just back up into the gas station and drive right out you'll see that pretty soon here we go I'm getting all the windows out of the for the modern day Malaya. these three windows are going to 
So this one has a birdhouse. I will put right here so kids can see when birds fly in. You got this normal window, and you've got this big, big window that I like to put on the corner here, out of the way, doesn't make it look confusing on this front. That desk building is now finished. It took me a while to build. Next building, very last building. This I gave to my dad for Father's Day. He's asked me to keep it together, which I have successfully. And it's a cabin out in the woods. He fly fishes, he has moose. Where's the moose? Here is the moose that comes with it. It's a very nice, I keep it private over in my near my bed. And because I don't like it in the city, I like to keep things city wise in the city. So that building is that. Now I'm going to take all these buildings off with everything else. And I will not pot I will not see I will be done in a moment and we will get started with base plates and everything. And we will get building. Some mistakes will happen. Warning. Warning. Just letting you know. Mistakes will happen. Don't get mad at me, please. But it will happen. It's a big, big warning. Very big warning. So, now that we've got started, and I just dumped out all these vehicles and other stuff that's in here, we can get started with base plates. I got lots of road plates. I have multiple roads. I got lots of corners, lots and lots of corners. So I have four normal straight plates. Okay, so I have three roads, four, two corners, two T-sections, and three intersections, crossway sections. The other big base plates that will connect are two um, 16 by, uh, one 16 by 16, actually there's two 16 by 16, but I don't know where my other one went. It went somewhere. I have two of 16 by something, I don't know. Two 16 by 36s, and two 33s by 33s. 32 by 32s, I mean, sorry. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make the roads layout first, then we will get started. Sorry if I have to move you real quick. But first, we are going to start with a road here, a T-section, which T-sections are darn useful. They are real useful. And right now, I am connecting road plates and road plates and road plates, like lots and lots of road plates. What is going to happen here is because I don't have extra roads, I don't really use the intersections as they are meant to be used. So I always put one at the end of a road or somewhere. In this case, I will put them there. Because I have another T section, I can do some other stuff. I'm going to take off some of these plates off the road. So here's our road layout right now. What you are looking at is a road layout. 
for the start. We're going to get this other road plate thing. And we are going to T-section in it. I don't know why I said that like a stutter. We're going to put this T-section here. And we're going to actually put a curve outwards. So we have this. And then we're going to put a curve like this outwards so we can use some of these. One is going to go right here. I'm going to have to move them real fast. We're going to have to move carefully so we don't mess up. Anything. I'm going to have to scoot this back so we can fit that road. We're going to move it down now. 